Well, there on the economy, we should say all of this comes with a looming tax fight in Congress. The Democrats want to revamp the tax structure and get rid of some of the loopholes that the wealthy and corporations enjoy to pay less taxes. And it may surprise you to learn that one of the universally accepted richest guys in the world, Warren Buffett, feels he pays too little by percentage. This interesting campaign of his was unveiled in a recent conversation with Tom Brokaw, who is here with us in the studio with more on this. This is fascinating. Brian, it is well known that uh, Warren Buffett is a contrary billionaire. Unlike most of his fellow billionaires, he believes that they should be paying a higher tax rate. And to prove his point, he decided to compare what he pays as a tax rate with what the people who work for him pay. Is this what you had in mind when you were 17, Warren? Well, in a very, very, very general way. It is no secret that Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha and the world's third richest man, doesn't have a great deal in common with his fellow billionaires. Here you are hitting against Bob Gibson. Right. But amidst the sports memorabilia and the modest office that is the nerve center of his empire, Buffett sees a fundamental injustice that he says touches all Americans. The taxation system has tilted toward the rich and away from the middle class in the last 10 years. It is dramatic, and I don't think it's appreciated. And I think it should be addressed. You've gone very public with this. Right. You've talked about in your own office, for example, you pay a much lower tax rate with all of your wealth than, say, a receptionist does. That's exactly right, Tom. And I, I think the only way to do it is with specifics. And, and, and in, in our office, 15 people cooperated in a survey out of 18. I didn't make anybody do it. And my total taxes paid, payroll taxes plus income tax, uh, mine came to 17.7%. Uh, the average for the office was 32.9%. There wasn't anybody in the office from the receptionist on up that paid as low a tax rate. And I have no tax planning. I don't have an, uh, I don't have an, an accountant. I don't have tax shelters. I just follow what the U.S. Congress tells me to do. Buffett is particularly critical of the lower tax rates paid by hedge fund managers who reap millions of dollars from the investments made by others. I do know that the hedge fund operators spent a record amount lobbying uh, in recent months. So they give money to the political campaigns and, and who represents the cleaning lady? The hedge fund operators and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and others have said it's going too far. In fact, these hedge fund operators have created enormous wealth for the little guy as well, pension funds and other people who participate in those private equity partnerships. Well, they say they work hard and that in the process of working hard, they make other people money. And, and that's true of a whole bunch of people in the world, but that doesn't entitle them to a preferential tax rate. Now, Warren's taking care of you because he's worrying about your tax rate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Even no, some of Buffett's own strong. employees no, had no idea so what kind of a rate they were paying for taxes until he told them. Yeah. You know, at the end of this year, you're gonna pay a higher tax rate, percentage of your income, and this guy will. Yes. I have learned that since I started. Mm -hmm. He'll have a little more left over than you will at the end of the year, probably. Mm -hmm. Not right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your first tax return. Yeah, that was when I was 13. Right. I owed $7. Buffett doesn't hold out much hope that Congress will pass his favorite idea, a progressive consumption tax. But that does not mean he's going to stop speaking out. After all, his employees now are counting on him. If you could rewrite the rules, what would you do? <laughs> I, I first asked Warren how he would rewrite them. <laughs> and to further prove his point, Buffett has challenged, he's offered a million dollars to charity to any of the Forbes 400 richest people who can show that on average, they pay a higher tax rate than their secretaries pay. But so far, Brian, He's had no takers. Now, he believes he's paying too low a rate. Does that also mean, by extension, he feels he should pay more to the federal government? He thinks that it's just an unjustifiable system because the payroll tax is the tax rate that most of the people pay on ordinary income. He gets the capital gains tax. He thinks a lot of that should be bumped up. And as for that charge that investors will stop working if they get taxed at a higher rate, he says he remembers when capital gains were 40 percent, people didn't go home at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and say, I'm going to a movie, I paid too much in taxes already. Yeah. He doesn't think it'll have a big effect on the economy. Pretty controversial. Yeah, it's a brave campaign, and he can afford to uh, launch it. Tom Brokaw, always a pleasure. Thank you. Nice to be here.
When Nightly News continues after one of our limited commercial interruptions, this Monday evening we'll take you where a former first lady is in fact celebrating her election as president. Also, the growing popularity of obesity surgery, if you can believe it, for American teenagers. And later, the new corporate culture in this country where it seems like everybody is suddenly a vice president. NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Brought to you tonight with limited commercial interruption by Detrol.